this is response video number two. I just got done taking my shower because I went to the customer to deliver, but they don't have room for the product, so I have to come back in four hours. So I was like, well, I got plenty of time to take a shower now. So just got that done, and I wanted to respond to this idiot social justice warrior. He's probably a 40-year-old virgin who still lives in his mommy's basement. But anyways, who knows? I don't know. I'm speculating. <laughs> and I was kind of being funny and sarcastic and rude at the same time. So, <clears throat> some people say not to respond to douchebags like this because it makes them think that they got to you and that they're winning. <clears throat> but you know I don't know <clears throat> I'm not the kind of person to take things lying down and they're obviously an idiot I probably don't need to say anything because they obviously only listened to like the first minute of the video and then made their decision they didn't listen to anything else I said so I went back and I watched the video two, three times. <clears throat> and what I said was that I don't always do a pre-trip and post-trip because I'm practically a freaking local driver, right? <clears throat> if I wake up and I'm 30 minutes from the customer and I'm going to be there for two hours why would I do a pre-trip before I leave the truck stop to go to the customer when I'm going to be there for two hours and I have plenty of time to do my vehicle inspection while I'm loading or unloading <clears throat> which is what I normally do <sighs> or I might be 30 minutes away from the truck stop that I'm planning on fueling at so I do my vehicle inspection there. <clears throat> you know, um, I load and unload two to four times a day. <clears throat> Sometimes once, but generally speaking, it's two to four times a day. <clears throat> so I do my walk arounds, my vehicle inspections when I'm loading and unloading, generally speaking. <clears throat> so if I'm doing that two to four times a day, why do I need to do a pre-trip and a post-trip? I don't, because I'm doing my vehicle inspection two to four times a day. Now, do I do a full, complete vehicle inspection four times a day? No, but <clears throat> I'll do it at least once. And then I'll be doing walk arounds, checking different things. And I'm always checking my tires. That's like the number one thing I check. That's not the only thing I check. According to this idiot, he thinks that's the only thing I check. So he says, I can't believe you said you don't do pre-trip and post-trip every day, exclamation marks. That's very unprofessional and dangerous, exclamation marks. <clears throat> you could cause someone serious harm or death, including yourself. There's more to an inspection than tire. There's more to inspect than tires, too. Get real and do your job, exclamation marks. Of course, I gave him a thumbs down and said, obviously, someone needs to clean the crap out of their ears and re-listen to the video because that's not what I said. And someone gave me a thumbs up for that. 
So anyway, <clears throat> yeah, that's not exactly what I said. They just took the first sentence that I said and just assumed that was what the whole video was about. <clears throat> and uh, I'd say, what, how long is this video? 16 minute video? Surely the 16 minute video is not just about me not doing a ins vehicle inspection. <clears throat> it's me educating people on tire inspections and talking about other things. <clears throat> That's what the video was about was tire checks. It wasn't about me not doing a vehicle inspection. It was about tire checks. I was specifically talking about tire checks because tire checks are important. Are they the only thing new? Duh. <clears throat> that was my problem with people in the oil field. When I was working in the oil field, that's all they would check was the oil and the tires. That's it. They wouldn't check nothing else. And I was always bitching at them to check everything else. And then they made me the safety supervisor. So then it was my job to make sure they checked everything else. <clears throat> they still didn't do it. But... You know, I'm a safety guy. I do my vehicle inspections. Just because I don't do them on a pre-trip or a post-trip is irrelevant. As long as you do them, that's what's relevant. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's like, I have to go unload here in a couple hours. I'll do my post-trip while I'm unloading. I could be doing it right now, but I'll do it while I'm unloading because I could be doing other things right now. And then when I'm done unloading, I'll go find a place to park and then I'll go to bed and I won't do a post trip because I already did it. Some people are so stupid. Anyways, but yeah, they have this uh, fake profile. That's what people call it. I don't think it's actually a fake profile, but it could be. Uh, they joined six years ago, but they don't have any posts. They've only made one comment, and that's on my video. So it's probably just some, who knows, some idiot. That's the year I got kicked off of Facebook originally. I mean, not Facebook, YouTube. I had all my videos on YouTube for 10 years. And then five years in, Google bought YouTube. And then five years later, they kicked me off because I was talking about New World Order stuff. And they didn't like that, so they got rid of me. One year before or after Alex Jones, to the date even, which is, that's the only reason why I use that as a reference, because it's like the same month, but it, like the year before or the year after, I can't remember now. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm a conspiracy theorist. But uh, anywho, yeah. <clears throat> the video was about telling people to make sure you do your vehicle inspections, but it was specifically focused on tires. So, yeah, I care about safety, duh. Anyways, <clears throat> like I said, some people are just idiots. I made a longer response video already, but it was in the heat of the moment, and I disclosed too much information about the company that will get them in trouble by the government. So I'm going to save that video till after I quit so it doesn't come back on me. <clears throat> but anyways, that last video, I was <clears throat> saying this company is not all that bad. I kind of was in denial. I was trying to convince myself that, oh, it's not that bad here. I'm going to be okay. <clears throat> no, it's really not that great. But I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. <clears throat> I just got to make it six more months, five more months, whatever. Get the frick out of here. Go find a company that actually appreciates a safe driver who actually tries to do his job correctly and does not only care about pumping out miles. <clears throat> you know, I try to do my job as efficiently as possible. 
but it's kind of hard when the dispatcher and the safety manager for that matter is breathing down your neck to talk to your logbook and pump out more miles you know um that's pretty fucked up when your own safety manager is telling safety manager is telling you to doctor your logbook so you can get more miles <clears throat> so yeah i don't like to do that so anyways that's my rant i don't know if i'm gonna upload this now or if i'll wait till i upload the other video but it's in addition to the other video but the other video is already long and this one's getting long too. So I'm not going to attach this one to the other video. I'm just going to call it response video number two. So there you go. <clears throat> be safe, be legal, but be safe first. Legal second. Actually, let me rephrase that. Be safe first, be lawful second. Then legal is in the eye of the beholder. And the rest is up to you. All right, bye.